In this video, we're gonna go over how to translate our WooCommerce site on WordPress so that visitors, you know, if they're from a Spanish speaking country or, you know, French or German, their language will update based on what language they have set on their browser or on their computer. So how do we set this up? How do we do this? And how do we have like a little language switcher as well so people can toggle um, at various spots of our site? Well, we're gonna jump into it, but first, if you're new here, make sure to click that like, click that subscribe, and all the links can be found in the description box below. Okay, let's officially jump into it. So if I go to my WordPress dashboard, and I'm gonna add this Weglot plugin, I will put the links in the description box below. But after installing this plugin and signing up on their site, they do have a free plan that you can check out. Um, using the link on the screen right now, but I need to add my API keys to be able to tr start translating to a different language. So I'm just gonna add Charlie's coffee, and then I'm just gonna go into WordPress, and then click next. Awesome, so now I have my API key, and if I go back to the setup, I can do this. I click save changes and I need to add one, at least one language. So I'm gonna add Spanish. Awesome, so now my site is multilingual. And if I go to my front page, I can toggle this to a different language. And you can see that when I toggle this, it updates the URL, the slash ES, and then the language. So there's also some settings I can do right here. I can do down this language button design I can, you know, not show the flags. I can show the flags. I can do a circle. I can do, um, you know, abbreviation. I can override, you know, any custom CSS, you know, a bunch of different things. So I could also, you know, auto redirect people, translate email, you know, search, translate the search. So I could do all these options and make sure to test these out but I could do this. Now, let's say I wanna add a language switcher in the top bar or somewhere to my menu. How do I do this? How do I add this drop down instead of being down here in this bottom right hand corner? How do I add this somewhere in the menu? Well, I'm gonna to go to my menus. I'm gonna make sure I have all my screen options checked. Awesome, so now I see this option for Weglot Switcher under Screen Options. And now if I go here, I can see this Weglot Switcher and let's try adding it to the top bar. Awesome, so now after clicking Save, let's go back to our website and you can say I have this nice little switcher in the top bar that lets me toggle between English and Spanish. And I could even come back to Weglot and let's say I want this to be, I don't want to display the full name. Awesome, so now I can click Save Changes. And now if I go back to my site, I have this nice little language switcher in the top right hand corner of my site that I can easily toggle back and forth for all my visitors and they will get a different language. So another thing I want to go over and I'm going to go back to the English version of my site is, let's say I go down to the subscription coffee box product, right? And let's say in Spanish, when I type in on Google Translate or something, you know, this is the, you know, that's what it's supposed to show. And if I click into this product and I go to the Spanish, you'll see that this is how the strain is translated. Um, now, if I wanted to, you know, customly update this, I could by going to my translations, right? And I could add options, right? To add a translation. So let's search for the subscription coffee box. And let's say I wanted to give this a custom translation. So let's say I wanted this to be just coffee box, you know, caja de cafe. So maybe in this language, it makes more sense to just have it be like this. So I could do that. And after doing that, you know, if I update this page, you know, it's gonna update the translation. 
So this could be very beneficial for like PDFs as well if you wanna have a downloadable PDF or something else in a different language but provide a different um, PDF link. So as another example in my description, I don't show a description here on this product page. But I could also do something like this, like your favorite roast on, on subscription, drink all over the United States. So let's see if this um, translation shows up. Cool, so when I have this, I go to Google Translate, and I want this to be drink all over um, your Spanish speaking country. You know, just as an example, I could easily do that and then update the translation if I needed to. So that's it for today, guys. If you got value out of this video, make sure to give me a like, give me a thumbs up, and all the links can be found in the description box below. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.